Hey there guys and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. My opponent this time is Volzy, aka that guy I've never been able to beat and it's kind of starting to bug me so maybe I'll be able to change things up this time. Anyway, he leads with a Scizor, I lead with my Galvantula, it turns out his, he has a Mega Scizor. Pretty interesting that he's gonna lead with that though. Wonder what he's gonna do, I'm predicting it'll be a U-turn or something. Anyway, I figured I'd just go for Thunder, not really... I could have gone just set up Sticky Web, but I kind of felt I had to start dealing with this thing first. But he goes for Swords Dance instead. So now I really need to start dealing with this thing quickly. He's just leading off with probably his main sweeper right out of the gate. And Thunder doesn't quite kill, but I do get the paralysis on him as he roosts. Damn it. Times like this where I really wish my Galvantula had hidden power fire. But nope, I'll just have to make do with Thunder. At least he gets the... He is paralyzed, so he doesn't get to pull off a bullet punch. I am very pleased with that. And another Thunder doesn't quite take him out. He does get the bullet punch off. So there goes my Focus Sash. It doesn't really do that much damage for a plus two Mega Scizor. I wonder what his uh, Scizor spread is. I'm thinking it might not be full on offense. Anyway, Scizor goes down, so yay, threat averted. Way to go, Galvantula. He then follows up with Speed Form Deoxys. Okay. I figured he was gonna go for Taunt, so I wasn't gonna go for Sticky Web. He goes for an Ice Beam, which kills me. I was gonna go for a Bug Buzz, which I think would have done a decent amount of damage. Because I wasn't really predicting him to go on the offense. I was thinking maybe Taunt or Light Screen or Stealth Rock or something. And now he goes for a Low Kick. This is definitely some sort of offensive Speed Form Deoxys. Interesting, because I don't ever really see those. So I went for Toxic. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I should have set up Stealth Rocks instead. But at least he's poisoned. That with the Life Orb Recoil should take him out fairly quickly. As long as he doesn't have Recover, though. Deoxys may very well be running Recover. So Knock Off. Okay, Knock Off, Low Kick, Ice Beam. Probably a Psychic move in the fourth slot. Psychic, Zen Headbutt, Psy Shock. Maybe Psycho Boost? Not sure. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Anyway, Probopass dies, bring in Togekiss. I'm not really sure why, because I can't para flinch him anymore. He goes for Nice Beam, I don't really take it that well. That was pretty disappointing, actually. But just, just get an Air Slash off, see what that does. And it gets a critical hit and kills him. I don't know if that critical hit mattered or not. Because if the Air Slash didn't kill, maybe he would have been within Toxic range. So I guess that'll remain a mystery forever. Up next is his Azumarill. I quite like Azumarill's shiny color scheme. I wonder if that's like a nod to Pikachu or not. Because it does kind of make him look like Pikachu. And I go for Thunder Wave and he goes for Belly Drum. That was a mistake on my end. I'm really hoping I'm going to get lucky with the Paralysis here. What is that? That is a... Oh, Citrus Berry. Okay. Oh, man. Please just get paralyzed so I can... I don't think an, a single Air Slash is going to kill him, and he goes for the Aqua Jet. Oh, I am in trouble now. Freaking Belly Drum Aqua Jet Azumarill. That thing is so good. And all I have is a freaking Hitmonchan. Of course that's not going to survive the Aqua Jet. No way in hell. Bloody hell, Hitmonchan, you finally make your debut when you don't get to do anything. Meloetta, then. I don't really have anything that can help me out in this situation. Just everything is gonna get freaking destroyed. Ah, uh, this is a disaster. Golurk, then. Okay, Golurk, go get him. Don't think he's gonna be able to do it, and then he switches out his Umaril for some reason. I don't know why. I'm starting to think he's just toying with me. Anyway, I went for an Earthquake. Because does fair I don't think Fairy resists Ghost, actually. Uh, maybe Shadow Punch would have been a better option. Although... Nah, even with Iron Fist, Shadow Punch is still weaker. Really though, Golurk needs a better physical Ghost move. I don't even know if it gets Phantom Force or not, but Phantom Force is a two-turn move, and two-turn moves are always awful, so... Really shouldn't be using Phantom Force. So you just need like a ghost type form of 
I don't know, uh, Earthquake or something. That'd be good. It's not like there are that many physical ghost-type Pokémon anyway. I mean, pretty much the only other one is like Bayonet and maybe Trevenant and Gorgeist, and that's about it. And I guess Dusk Noir, if, if you want to use that offensively. Golurk is pretty much the main offensive physical ghost, though. Anyway, he's kind of got some sort of stalling Mew going on. Showing off with the Soft Boiled, which he can only get in Generation 3. I'm not really sure why Soft Boiled over any other healing move, though. Mew gets Roost. I think he gets Synthesis from some sort of tutor somewhere. So, I'm not really sure why Soft Boiled over those. A Synthesis maybe with the weather dependency and everything, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna win this. So, just throw in the towel. Dammit, Volzi, you beat me again. I'll get my revenge on you someday. Bye-bye.